Hi everyone, today's evening headlines. Another Manipur gang rape horror comes to light after over 100 days. Thousands of Nagas rally in Manipur demanding resolution of Indo-Naga political issue. Left out portion of NH129A to be included, blockade suspended for 15 days. Awo Senden urges Nagaland government to pass resolution against forest conservation bill. Private schools in Nagaland earning in crores annually, says Dr. Kekru Lehe. News in details. Another Manipur gang rape horror comes to light after over 100 days. Another horrific case of rape and torture has come to light in ethnic violence hit Manipur after the survivor, now living in a relief camp, filed a detailed complaint with the police unfolding the crime that took place on May 3. The 37-year-old married woman who said in her complaint, Five to six people got hold of me and started verbally abusing and assaulting me. Despite my resistance, I forcefully pinned down. After this, they started sexually assaulting me. They inserted their fingers into my private part in a violent manner. There were no help coming from anybody despite my cries for help. Thereafter, some more men joined them. At that time, I lost consciousness later when I regained my senses. I found myself in a house surrounded by some Meti people. The woman from Churachanpur district filed the FIR and a separate detailed complaint at the Bishnupur Women's Police Station on Thursday, diving details of the horrific incident that took place on May 3, the day ethnic violence erupted in the northeastern state. Thousands of Nagas rally in Manipur demanding resolution of Indo-Naga political issue. The mass rally called by the United Naga Council in Senabadi, Ukrul, Chandel and Tamanglong district of Manipur demanding the government of India to resolve the Indo-Naga political issue ended peacefully on Wednesday. Thousands of people participated in the rallies held in all the Naga-inhabited districts of Manipur before a memorandum was submitted to Prime Minister Narendra Modi through the DC of Senapati. Left out portion of NH129A to be included, blockade suspended for 15 days. Amid the blockade of NH129A at Tepicure Bridge by the Joint Action Committee since July 31 over the 2.8 km stretch in parent town under the Maram Dimapur two-lane road, Executive Director of NHIDCL RK Singh on Wednesday said the project has been revised and proposed a fresh revised estimate to include the said stretch of road. Singh said this at a press conference in parent town on Wednesday after a meeting with the district administration and civil societies of parent town wherein the matter concerning package, one of the project was discussed. Awo Senden urges Nagaland government to pass resolution against Forest Conservation Bill. Terming the passing of Contagious Forest Amendment Act 2023 as unfortunate, the Awo Senden has urged the government of Nagaland to summon a special assembly session and immediately pass a resolution against its implementation in the state in exercise of the Article 371A. Some of the proposed exemption in the amended act, particularly the 100 km exemption for environmental clearance for the forest along international borders to be used for construction of strategic linear projects of national importance and those concerning national security, is a serious matter of concern with the potential to cause unrest in the northeastern state in general and Nagaland in particular, read the press release. Private schools in Nagaland earning in crores annually, says Dr. Kekrili Hole. Advisor of School Education and SCERD Dr. Kekrili Yome on Wednesday lamented that many students prefer to study in joint private schools due to the absence of teachers in government school despite being well trained and highly paid. He said this during an interaction with the district administration and education official in the DC conference hall during a visit to SDEO office in Newland, according to a DIPR report. Claiming that private schools in Nagaland earn crores of rupees annually, the advisor suggested making an effort to attract students studying in such institutions to government schools in order to improve our rural livelihood and our economy. That's all for now. To guess this, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.